do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, y'all, we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, today we have some weirdness. I'm not gonna lie to you. We have some weirdness. This dad is addicted to sleeping in the same bed with his daughters. Now, these is not little girls, these is grown women, and he wants to sleep in the same bed with them. Not no stepdad, this is dad dad. Something fishy is happening here. We finna we finna watch this. Yeah, you know so we finna see what the heck happens. It, nothing good could, there's no excuse, right? <laughs> Let's start us off by saying there's literally no excuse here. There's no reasoning here to be like, yeah, I just, I just, you know, their bed is just nicer or something. There's no excuse that would make this normal. But I want to see what the heck this says. If you decide for this video, smash the freaking like button. It's a two-part series. I have two videos up here. I have two parts. I found both of them, so I don't even got to go look for the second part. So let's just hop right into this, man. I, 20F, and my sister, 22F, share a room and have been sharing one forever. We have a three-bedroom house. One where my brother sleeps and one where my parents sleep. My Wait, parents so he's married. So there's a parent. I'm, I'm not going to pause that much, but he's married. You know what I'm saying? He has a wife. He doesn't sleep in the bed with his wife. He must sleep in the bed with his daughters, which are 20 and 22. These are grown women. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are grown women. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Japanese floor mattress because they like sleeping on the floor. Us kids have beds. What? My sister and I have two twin beds in our room. After work, and on the weekends, my father takes a nap, usually from around 3 to 3.30 to around 6. He is always trying to sleep on either my bed or my sister's bed. In my personal opinion, people shouldn't share pillows and blankets. Or sleep in each other's beds. Mm -mm, not at all. I never let him sleep in my bed. But when I'm not home, he still does. Yesterday, I came home from a long 12-hour shift to my bed all disheveled, and he told me he slept in it. I threw everything in the wash. I find it gross, and to be frank, I don't like my father. He's Whoa. my father and nothing wait, else. Our wait relationship a minute. is very strange. That was a big jump. <laughs> she said, yeah, I don't really like when people sleep in my bed. And to be honest, I don't like my father. That was, that was a little bit of a big jump there. But, okay, so boom. Like, sleeping in the same bed is pretty, like, why? Sleep in your own freaking bed. Why are you sleeping in my bed? You know what I'm saying? I, some weirdness is going on. He liked the smell of it or something. He likes... He's borderline about to do something really, really bad. That's all I'm saying. That's what I'm saying from this. These are warning signs, super big red flags, all of that. Strained. But that's a story for another time. I told him not to sleep in my bed or my room because I don't like it. Mm -hmm. And as a grown man, he should respect that. Literally. He has tried to sleep in my bed and my sister's bed multiple times over the years. And I always tell him no. We have a small house, and we need our privacy and our space. Literally, they grown this women. This is the only place where I can be partially alone. Today, I went shopping for just an hour. My father, this time, was sleeping in my room, but on my sister's bed this time. I waited for around 20 minutes before waking him up. I gently shook him awake and told him to go sleep elsewhere. He refused. Now this is the part where I might become the asshole. I stood by my sister's bed and kept waking him up. He then proceeded to yell at me. I told him that this is my room and he has his own room where he can sleep in my brother's room. Don't put, don't throw your brother under the bus. Your daddy don't want to smell your brother. That's all I'm saying. That, 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 that's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? This, I'm telling you, there's some weirdness going on. My brother works all day and doesn't mind that my dad sleeps there. I became stubborn because he wouldn't get up and continued to wake him up. At this point, he grabbed my wrists and held me down. I don't after a while, he let go and said that I'm not going to win this fight and that he will be just as stubborn and not leave the room. I continued waking him up. He's literally awake and yelling at me and grabbing me. Wait a minute. He states that I'm not in your bed today, unlike yesterday. I'm in your sister's bed today. My sister comes to the room and says that she also doesn't like others sleeping in her bed. He then says that she is simply saying that to please me. He says I am the problem and I should let him sleep. I continue to tell him to leave. He stays laid down in my sister's bed. I shake his knee to keep him from sleeping. Well, this is how it cuts off? I'd have been pissed off if I ain't find a freaking part two. How are you gonna cut it off like that? That's crazy. I continue to tell him to leave. He stays laid down in my sister's bed. I shake his knee to keep him from sleeping. He starts by slapping my hand each time I touch his knee. He also starts to lick his hand and rub the spit onto my hand. We have the evidence. 
we have the freaking evidence. What in the f what licks your hand and 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 grabs your hand and then rubs the spit on the the daughter's hand while you're sleeping in one of your daughter's beds that you just have some weird obsession with sleeping in their beds? And then you lick your hand, slowly wipe the spit on her. What the f what's what's happening right now? What is somebody let me know if is this a regular thing? Cause this ain't, this ain't regular. I'm stubborn and keep lightly shaking his knee to keep him from sleeping. Once again, he grabs my wrists and pins me down. This continues and he proceeds to This whole pinning down thing too ain't it's, it's a lot of red flags popping up. I'm talking about them bright bright big red flags. I ain't talking about no uh, orange and no yellow flag. These are huge red flags. You need to leave. Your dad is about to do something that's not pleasant. Push me several times and says to stop shaking his knee. He then grabs my wrists and pushes me to my bed and holds my arms and legs down and tells me to stay in my own bed and leave him alone. I can't breath and attempt to push him off. When my sister enters the room, he lets me go and goes right back into her bed. Like I said, I'm stubborn and go back to telling him to leave and shake his knee. Again, he grabs my wrists and then my arms. He pushes my arms and pins me down against my bed. His full body weight on top of mine. Wait a minute, this is turning into some, some, some something else. This pinning and the way she's describing it, pinning all the weight is on her now. This is something, this is turning into something else. He tells me to shut up and stay in my bed. I try to push him off and can't. The only thing I can do is scream as he squeezes me. My mom and sister come into the room and stop him. He proceeds to go back into my sister's bed. My father says that he bought this house and this bed. I tell him to take the bed and no one said this ain't your house. I'll sleep on the floor, just give me my privacy and my space. He then yells at me and says I shouldn't speak to my father this way. He says that this is what happens when you send your kids to school and let them work in America. <laughs> what? He proceeds to say that I am the type of child that would shoot her own parents. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. What's going on here? What is happening? That I would kill him. He says my job and college is what made me crazy. He starts to yell at my mom and tells her that this is her fault. I am her fault. That she needs to get me out of there. He tells me that I'm a psych. This is going down a, a, a deeper, darker path than what I originally imagined. Go. He tells me to respect him. He continues to push me and stays in her bed. All I can do is break down on the floor. My sister and mom leave the room. My father stays in that bed and I am a mess. After 15 minutes, he left the room. I stayed on the floor and have been bawling for hours. I can't breathe and when I tried leaving the house my mom told me not to because he won't let me come back if I leave and he will take everything from me. I've been a mess in my room for three hours now. Edit, I have a part-time job and I am saving money. However, I don't make enough money to get myself a car or pay for rent while paying for school too. You might gotta drop out of school, I ain't gonna lie to you. You, might, you probably gotta drop out of school, I ain't gonna lie. I also don't live in a walkable city. My parents don't control my finances. And my sister is currently only in school full time. Thank you for all your replies. I'm gonna try replying to as many as I can. You need to focus more on leaving than replying to freaking comments. That's what I'm gonna let you know right now, little girl. Cause the, the traits that your dad is showing, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the flags are extremely red here. You're not gonna wanna be around him. You know what I'm saying? He's doing weird things already. Like, first of all, just can you, right now, you that's watching this, you that's listening to me right now, can you picture your dad randomly licking his hand and then wiping the spit on you? Just randomly. Can you imagine that? No, because we all have regular parents. This is not a regular person. Who the heck licks their hand? And then rubs it on their daughter while sleeping in their daughter bed that they have an obsession of sleeping inside of. Y'all let me know. Because y'all, because I know, I know, but y'all know too. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below, bro. Y'all think I'm over-exaggerating it? Y'all think, y'all think he right for saying it's my house, I can do whatever the heck I want to do, you know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know in the comments down below. I think there's some weirdness going on. And I think he's living out some fantasies in his mind that he wished could happen, but... He's fighting his intrusive thoughts. That's what they call it. Intrusive, intru whatever. He's fighting them, them demons in his head. Y'all let me know in the comments down below what the heck y'all think. But that's the end of the freaking video.
If y'all enjoyed this video, smash the freaking like button. And if you enjoyed this video, I know you will enjoy this video right here. Let me just watch, look at the, the thumbnail. Look at the title. You know what I'm saying? This is even more craziness this, than this video. I'm going to just say it. Just watch it. I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it. Just watch the freaking video. That's about it, though. I'm going to see y'all out.